2024 সালের মধ্যে গুয়াহাটি সহ পুরো ভারতে 25টি অত্যাধুনিক বিমানবন্দর নির্মাণ করা হবে এর মধ্যে 6টি মেট্রো সিটি বিমানবন্দর যার মধ্যে থাকবে অধিক সংখ্যক যাত্রী সুবিধা আজ দিল্লিতে সাংবাদিক সম্মেলন করে কেন্দ্রীয় বেসামরিক বিমান পরিবহন মন্ত্রী জ্যোতিরাদিত্য সিন্ধিয়া এই কথাগুলি জানিয়েছেন তিনি বলেন পুরো ভারতে বিমানবন্দর সমস্যা মেটাতে সরকার যাত্রীদের সুবিধার কথা চিন্তা করে এই পদক্ষেপ হাতে নিয়েছে ভারতে গুরুত্বপূর্ণ শহরগুলিতে বিমানবন্দরের অবকাঠামো রূপান্তর করার ব্যাপক পরিকল্পনা প্রকাশ করেন তিনি উই ডিসাইডেড টু টেক দ্য সিক্স মেট্রোস ইন ফেজ 1 অ্যাক্রস আ কান্ট্রি এন্ড লুক অ্যাট দ্য ক্যাপাসিটি ক্রিয়েশন অ্যাক্রস দি সিক্স এয়ারপোর্টস ইট ইজ নট এ ওয়ান সাইজ ফিটস অল অ্যাপ্রোচ it's not a cookie cutter approach because each airport has its own issues and in the second phase in addition to the six metro city airports we took 10 additional airports that experience congestion and those very clearly were bhubaneswar chandigarh goa patna jaipur guwahati lucknow ahmedabad trivandrum and kochi So 16 airports in total were taken on board on the 12th of December and we started working at what the causes for congestion were we started working on a schematic as to what the parameters should be for each touch point and post our initial exercise we had a meeting with the home minister and along with him we decided that we must have international benchmarks that are put in place in terms of capacity at each one of these touch points three or four very clear causes came out in terms of what the reasons were for this the first was the issue of lack of sufficient airport infrastructure second inadequate x-ray screening machines or as we know in aviation parlance xbis machines and atrs machines third inordinate bunching of flights during peak hours creating that peak hour congestion which is beyond the capacity of the airport fourth inadequate amount of manpower with regard to security as well as immigration so what we did as a first step is to make sure that we facilitate every process along the step so if you remember very clearly in um, mid late december itself there is a almost like a naka before the delhi airport we placed video screens there in terms of the wait time at each departure gate we made sure we had ushers at each departure gate to make sure that passengers move from a heavily congested departure gate to one that was not video screens were put in place to monitor that radio walkie talkies were given to ushers we increased the number of departure gates we also increased the number of passenger check in gates we also made sure that we increased the number of atrs and xbis machines some airports complained about the lack of space within their airports and so we personally visited those airports where there were vip lounges or retail and commercial spaces which needn't be there because the priority of an airport is to serve the customer we made sure we broke down vip lounges we removed retail spaces and a case in point for you is delhi airport where after the removal of the vip lounge for five x-ray machines were placed in that particular area which eased congestion tremendously and therefore through all of these processes and the use of digi yatra we brought in place digi yatra at five airports initially all metro airports apart from chennai we then increased it by another eight today digi yatra is working across 13 airports in india those 13 airports cater to almost about 85% of our domestic passenger traffic we've had 35 million downloads of digi yatra app 91 lakh times 
the Digi Yatra app has been used by by passengers to either arrive at particular airports and board planes. In the next phase, which is in calendar year 2024, we are going to take up first 14 more airports that we are adding on to Digi Yatra. And in the second phase, 11 more airports, so a total of 25 more airports in calendar year 2024. So from our current 13, that number will go up to 38 by the end of 2024. And against 85% of passengers who will be covered under Digi Yatra in the 13 airports, now close to 96% of our passengers will be covered when we cover 38 airports through Digi Yatra. In addition to this, the fourth runway has been commissioned uh, in Delhi. The Eastern Cross Taxiway has been commissioned, which has also led to a cut in taxing time from close to 21 minutes down to almost 7 minutes uh, for aircrafts. Uh, the new uh, T1 terminal building uh, will be commissioned shortly in Delhi. In Bangalore, the new T2 terminal building for domestic and international operations has been commissioned in Bangalore. We moved domestic and international operations to the new T2 terminal. The expanded terminal building at Hyderabad uh, uh, has, uh, is on its way to be inaugurated. Uh, in Mumbai, because there's a paucity of space, uh, we function at roughly 50 million passengers per annum uh, in Mumbai. Uh, uh, the capacity has been reached, but we have restructured the pre-embarkation security check area uh, in Mumbai. We have created, taken permission from the Maharashtra government and created a lift facility to take passengers up and created a new PSC area. Uh, we have added three more security lanes. There is a new terminal building that will be commissioned in Lucknow uh, in the next three to four months, which will ease capacity, increase capacity there. And similarly, new terminal buildings in Guwahati and Patna as well. The two big airports that are going to come online uh, in this uh, calendar year, next calendar year, in October and November, will be Navi Mumbai and Jewar. Uh, 